Hello, today I thought I'd do a review of my uh, 100 watt solar panels I had installed. Uh, they've been installed now and running for about two, a little bit over two months. So I just wanted to show you what I got here going. I got uh, six 100 watt panels there. Bear in mind that uh, my mobile home, this slope of the roof is on the east side. My slopes are east and west. So I put the bulk of my panels over here, which is my 600 watts right now. I'd like to eventually add two more panels up above those six, which would give me 800 watts on this side. Because it's got a, this side has a really good clear, almost uninterrupted all day view of the sun. Unfortunately, we got a big oak tree that goes there, and a big oak tree that sits over here. So, for the, my review purposes, I'm going to show you uh, what these 600 watts are putting out inside on my charge controller. But I wanted to take you outside and kind of give you an idea of the orientation of them. Ideally, you'd want them facing south, but as you can see, south is not an option for me. Now, I do have uh, several of the old Harbor Freight panels which was my initial purchase when I was experimenting and learning and uh, you can't really see them up there but let's see I got just just under 200 watts I think 45, 80, 90, 180 180 watts up there of the Harbor Freights so all those panels are all tied in together I have, I've uh, wired it up to a 24 volt solar panel system. My battery bank is 12 volts, but uh, I got them coming into a MPPT controller, which does allow. Well, it it converts the 24 volts to 12 volts. Got the wires coming down here, and they go through the wall there. This right here is a little vent system I designed and built. So when the voltage of my battery gets over 13.8 volts, uh, and it, the batteries will start off-gassing. So by off-gassing, when it gets above 13.8 volts, a fan kicks on inside in my battery box and exhausts the air outside. Pretty neat little idea. This is my uh, 6000 BTU air conditioner that I'm using right now, and I'm running that on solar power. I uh, just wanted to see if I could handle that with my system so when I do go off grid in the heat of the summer I might have a little bit of comfort. Okay, so we've seen outside uh, my 600 watts plus the uh, Harbor Freight and what I've done for now is I have pulled the fuse on the Harbor Freight setup which was 190 and 180 watts. It don't get anywhere near that, but for the demonstration purposes, I want to show that uh, the plug is pulled, the fuse is pulled on the uh, Harbor Freight. So any readings I get are going to be just from the uh, Echo Worthy panels. Well, right now it says that we are putting out. 389 watts and 27.6 amps. What I'm going to do now is pause this and then I'm going to go to a screen capture and show you that on my uh, 4215 uh, BN software. Show that's show you how that's operating. Okay, so here we are in the software, and what it says is my panels are putting out 13.38 amps at 29.11 volts for a total of 390 watts. The charge controller is converting 
the 29.05 volts down to 14.2 and it's increasing the amperage from 13.4 to 27.47 and here's a graphical image of that what you can do on this uh, graphical image is you can right click show a new form maximize that then you go over here if you want to look at you can look there's your voltage ups and downs your, your current ups and downs and your power which is my wattage up and down these these big drops periodically the charge controller basically resets and then jumps back up it's a very short reset and I guess it's recalculating the algorithms So as you can see, we're almost getting 400 watts on an unideal location of my solar panels, not really facing the sun directly. So I'm very, very happy with the output of those panels. Let me close this again. So it's almost 400 watts, 392 watts right now and that will go up I think at the peak of the day I can probably get about 450 watts I mean if you looked at the uh, my gauge it said that the watts peak was 561 watts peak and uh, that was obviously with the harbor freights but realistically I think I might get about 90 watts out of those I don't get a lot out of them so I, I, I think I get pretty close I'm, I'm at my peak I get pretty close to 500 watts from my 600 watts of echo worthy panels which is really good uh, they're only two months old so obviously over the years that'll drop but uh, they do have a guarantee and I am really happy with those I think is there anything else I really need to cover on those I wanted to let you see that the panels performed really well and uh, oh yeah while I'm here I might as well uh, show you my battery system kind of give you an overview of what I got and you'll have to excuse the mess I am NOT a very tidy person as you probably guessed okay so now I'm back on to my camera okay so now I'm back on to my camera pause that alright so what we have here is my wires come in through the wall here right now I got uh, three strings of uh, 20 four volts coming into a fuse panel here and then I obviously got the one string for the Harbor Freights which is over here but they're not connected like I said for right now they those come into this fuse panel then the power comes out to a breaker which is a 40 amp breaker probably a bit underrated since the charge controller is actually 40 amps I could probably up that a little bit I'm not sure how much over you're supposed to go. Uh, negative goes to the charge controller, positive goes through that circuit breaker and then to the charge controller. Right now you can see that it is the battery light or the PV light is flashing which means it's charging. <coughs> and here is the uh, little meter that I use to give me a real time on how things are going. So we're almost up to 400 watts. Battery is sitting at 14.2 volts and uh, putting in 28 amps. Then you get your voltage minimums, your amp hours. So this is a cumulative and what I can do with this meter is if I want to reset that first I have to turn off my or disconnect my solar panels then I go over here and cut off my battery that's my circuit breaker for the battery then you turn that back on and the meter will reset
reset, everything goes to zero. Then I'll go back over here, put my panels back on. And uh, I have a LED light up here, so when my, I turn my uh, charge controller on, the LED automatically turns on. So what I do is just turn that off. And we'll go back down here and see what we got. So now everything has been re-zeroed. And it started over on the uh, accumulative totals. Okay, then we have my uh, Magnum inverter. And with that inverter, I am running a 6000 BTU room air conditioner. A small compact 1.8 cubic foot refrigerator with the freezer in it uh, my monitor my television I think that's about it and I'm running that on that on it constantly now obviously my 600 watts panels aren't going to really keep up in hot hot weather with this air conditioner so let me show you my battery bank here can I Zoom out. Yeah. Okay, so here's my battery bank. Right here, I got six golf cart, six volt batteries, and they are 205 amp hours each. I have them wired up as 12 volts, so I got 615 amp hours <coughs> coming in. Oh. And, and as I showed in a previous video, I'm using this charge controller to turn on and off my fan. So what I have is I have that set. So when my battery, this is wired directly to my batteries, and when my battery reaches 13.8 volts, I believe it is. Can't see, it's kind of dark right now. 13 point something, close to, close to 14 volts, it turns on a fan. And that fan is right here. It's just a CPU fan, 12 volt CPU fan that sucks the air out of this through the battery box through all my holes that I have in it and shoves it outside. That way, if there's any off gassing in here, it automatically takes that out. Now, when the voltage drops below, I think it's got it. I have it set at 13.5, so it comes on at 13.8, stays on. And then when the batteries drop below 13.5, it'll cut that fan off. So I have no risk of it building up any gases in there. I've set the value so low that it uh, should keep all the gases out. And there you have it. Like I say, this is a review of the panels. And we're getting almost 400 watts right now and the time was 10:30 in the morning not bad at all